Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video we have something amazing. We have hands-on with Samsung One UI 4.0 with Android 12. So in this video we are going to be detailing all the new features of One UI 4.0. And also let me show you something cool. So if I go into my settings, under software information, we have One UI version 4.0 with Android 12. Now if I tap this a couple times, we get that brand new Easter egg. And this is a clock you can interact with. Now, you're supposed to rotate this 12 times and you're supposed to get an Easter egg. As of now, it's not showing up, but it is supposed to say number 12. So let me just try doing that real quick. So it didn't show up, but it's supposed to. It's a beta, so that's normal. But that's going to be the brand new Easter egg. Now let's start with the actual features. I do want to show you something real quick. When I pull this down, you can see right off the bat we have some design changes. Things look a little bit more cleaner here. The brightness slider is brand new. The shape, so I can slide in and out right from here. It just makes more sense this way as opposed to a single line. Now the other thing that's very important is on the home screen. So when I pinch the screen, you can see we have a slightly redesigned icons here. But if I do go into my widgets, you can see that they are actually redesigned. So here's a list of all the widgets. I can search them if I so desire. And if I want to use a particular widget for a particular application, I can tap on this arrow and that's gonna expand all the widgets so I can access them right from here. So let's just grab one of these guys as an example and I can just dump it onto the screen. And of course, they're all customizable. They do have rounded corners which is part of the Material UI with Android 12. And we also have brand new charging effects. So when I plug in a cable into the bottom of my phone to charge it, we are now going to get brand new animations as you can see. So that's fantastic as well. There is a modification to the keyboard. So when I bring up the keyboard, there's going to be something really cool. First and foremost, the design has changed a little bit. But if I click on the smiley icon, the emoji icon, I have brand new smileys from here but the big things when i click on home i can create my own emojis so i can pick let's say uh, i'm going to grab this is the first one and then let me select another one here now i can combine those two let's do something like this there we go i'm going to tap on next so that's going to give me a combination emoji look at that and you can choose them so you can create unique expressions with your emojis look at this yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, now I don't use emojis too much myself, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with having all these options. Again, you go into Smiley, Home, you can tap on Plus, and you can get more stickers. You can create your own. It's all up to you. Now, one more thing on the lock screen is when you are playing music on the lock screen, uh, on the music widget right here, you are gonna see an option that says Media Output, and if you click that, you are able to change the output of your speakers to any connected Bluetooth devices right from the home screen. So that's brand new. You tap on media output, boom, you can make the modification. Fantastic. A brand new menu that we have, if you go to your settings and if you go into advanced features, you can see we now have a labs option. When I click it, it allows me to force multi-window for any application. So when I go over here to my recent view, and if I tap over here like this, and when I do open in split screen view, I can do multitasking with any other application that I desire, even the ones that are not supported now, because I can actually force them, which is fantastic. Now we also have some changes to our device care. So if I go to my settings, and if I go all the way down, if I go into battery and device care, I'm gonna click on it. You can see that we have a slight redesign. We have now smiley faces showcasing the health of your product. So smile means you're in great shape. Everything here has been redesigned. The overall functionality is the same. So if I tap on battery, the functionality is the same. If I go to more battery settings, I do have this brand new protect battery option. So that's great. And then this one has changed. Under processing speed, I can go for optimized, high or maximum. This used to be called enhanced processing. Now it is known as processing speed, optimized, high, maximum. That's great. And again, like I said, very important new protect battery feature. 
if you enable this and try to charge your phone, it will stop charging at 85%, thereby prolonging the battery life of your phone. Fantastic features. And if I go back over here, another very important thing. If I scroll down, I now have additional care options right here. We have the software update and we have the diagnostics menu that is normally under the Samsung members application, but now I can click this, it'll take me straight to Samsung members diagnostic utilities. That is fantastic again. Simply makes sense. And let me show you, here's what the storage looks like. So that's a brand new storage redesign, uh, the memory. Doesn't look that different. And then we have the device protection option right here. So they look mostly the same, but overall look has been changed. Now, if I tap on this guy, this screen here, the care report screen also is a little bit more materialistic based on Android 12. Now, another huge thing with privacy, let me show, let me just uh, launch the voice recorder. So the voice recorder is gonna be accessing my microphone. Now, when I launch it, and when I click on record, I'm gonna get a green dot on the top showcasing that the microphone is now being accessed by an application. And then it turns into a small dot. But let me show you one more thing. Let me just uh, stop this, cancel, exit. Now on the top, you can see it's still showing up. When I pull this down, it turns into an icon. And here's my voice recorder right here, still running. So when I tap on X and say discard, that microphone symbol disappears thereby showing me that the microphone is not being accessed by any application. Same thing with the camera. Another example, if I launch this, boom, I'm gonna get that green icon, that's the video icon. And when I pull this down, I can always see it. And let me see if I can click on it. If I click on it, it says being used by camera. So I'm getting so many details, which is great. I know exactly what my phone is doing, all right? So that's the new privacy features with One UI 4.0. Let's move on. The camera has a new layout. Uh, they're calling this a simpler, clearer layout. You can see, for example, these buttons are now numbered. So 0.6 is the wide, super wide angle. That's the standard angle. That's the three times zoom, and that's the 10 times zoom. It used to be icons. Now it just makes more sense. And it's just gonna feel smoother and cooler. It's more modular it feels like it's more modular it's like when i go over it clicks into place so i like that uh, if i go to more and if i go into my pro video right over here the settings have been uh, reorganized for a cleaner look the grid lines are going to be here and we also going to have a new level that allows you to better align your shots and also if i go back over here to single take uh, you'll notice we can tap on this settings icon here and we have even more options, okay? It's been expanded even further for the single take, as you can see. Look at that, beautiful, all right? Now, under photo mode, there was an option previously, if you press and hold, it starts to record. Now, when you let go, it stops recording. So that was a little bit inconvenient for some people. Now what you can do is look at this. You press and hold, and then you slide up to lock it so it continues recording even after you have pressed and hold the button. So that is great as well. There's also a modification here under settings again. If I scroll down just a little bit, you'll see it's gonna say safety and emergency. When you click this, you're able to put your medical information, you're uh, able to add your emergency contacts, and you're able to set your SOS messages right from here. So this is the dedicated safety and emergency setting. Now, one more thing that's been changed is the My Files application. So if I click on My Files right over here, all right, if I go inside, there's gonna be a slight redesign. The search functionality has been improved. It's gonna be even better, deeper search. And if I go back here, uh, the recent file area has been expanded now, so it's easier to see the specific file you're looking at. That's fantastic. These used to be tiny little uh, icons. Now they're expanded so you can get a better view of what you're looking at. Now, one more thing that we have that's brand new. If I go to my settings and if I go down and if I go into my location right here, I can go under individual applications under app permissions and look at the new option that I have. There's a slight redesign by the way here. So if I were to go here, what I can do is I can disable precise location. 
so my location is not super precise it's a little more obscure and again that's going to help with privacy so apps cannot know exactly where you are they just know approximately where you are okay so that's fantastic now look at this when i pinch the screen i have access to google discover or samsung free now what i can also do is if i pinch the screen and if i go to my settings uh, I can actually access that right from here. So, so when I click this, I'm able to do the same thing from here. You can see Google Discover, you can see Samsung Free, and you can see it says minus one page, which is a bug, as expected from a beta. I forgot to mention under settings, there's a brand new menu under privacy. Again, if I click on this guy, and if I scroll down just a little bit, uh, it's gonna say private computer core. When I click on this guy, I can tweak a bunch of options. I can also clear the data that your device has learned and that's gonna reset a lot of things. So private computer core is brand new. They also made a modification to the tips uh, application which gives you tips and tricks to use your phone. So when I go in here, what you're now gonna see is you're gonna see preview windows that detail exactly what the tip is all about. So if I were to go to my uh, settings tips you can see we have a breakdown look at that we have animations showing you exactly what this is describing if i go to expert tips you get some expert tips and same situation you got that preview windows giving you additional details fantastic we do have some modifications to the gallery application i'm going to show you guys the most important ones so when i go into my albums for example and if I go into the cars, for example, now when I pull this down, I'm going to see the main album photo on the top right here under gallery. Another thing, when I bring up a photo of anything and when I remaster that photo from here, now what I can do is after I analyze and remaster the photo and save it, let's save this guy right now. So it's been saved and it says remastered on the top. Now what I can do is at any time, even after I remaster the photo and save it, I can revert back to original at any time I want. And of course, the search functionality has been improved in the gallery as well. And finally, if I were to pull this up and if I were to click on uh, edit, let me see. Let's see where the edit button is. Right here. Now what I can do is I can edit the actual location myself. So previously I could only remove the location now I can actually go and click on plus and add my own location so I can change the location information of the photo, which is great. And I can change everything, the name, the tags and all that good stuff. All right. When you do go into the settings, I do want to let you know that we have under display, for example, there are some minor design changes to the uh, light and the dark uh, icons here. So they look a little bit different. Overall, uh, light mode and dark mode are the same. But the dark mode has been enhanced. So when you enable dark mode, uh, it actually now extends more than to the wallpaper. It also extends to the icon. So look at this. Let me go back out light mode. Look at the icon. Now it's uh, it applied before too, but now it's more pronounced. So it becomes even more darker. You get a more consistent look and more comfort for the eyes. All right. So dark mode has been enhanced. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. There's a lot of changes happening here. I'm gonna be looking at the phone even more in detail. If I find anything more, or if a particular option needs more explanation, I'll be making separate videos to feed you guys all your One UI 4.0 needs. Make sure you're subscribed. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?